Alrighty, simplifying a product uh, involving square roots uh, using the distributed property of the advanced. So let's take a look at this problem. Uh, so we'll use the distributed property here and we're going to distribute the first uh, each term from the first parentheses to the second parentheses. So I'll start off by distributing the 9 times the square root of 5 to each one of the terms in the second parentheses. So we have 9 times the square root of 5 times 8 times the square root of 5 and then plus 9 times the square root of 5 times 5 times the square root of 3. And then the next thing we will do is to distribute the negative square root of 3 to each one of those terms in the second parentheses. So we have a negative times a positive, so I will leave that as negative or minus square root of 3 times 8 square root of uh, 5 and then minus square root of 3 times 5 times the square root of 3. Like so. And then from there we would multiply this out. So remember uh, we would multiply numbers that are outside the radical, we multiply those times each other, and then the numbers that are underneath the radical, we multiply those times each other. So on this first one I would have to say 9 times 8 is 72 and uh, the square root of 5 times the square root of 5, 5 times 5 is 25. The second one, 9 times 5 is 45. And the square root of 5 times the square root of 3 is 15. Uh, this next one, there's an understood 1 outside of here. So 1 times 8 is 8. Uh, and then the numbers underneath the radical, 3 times 5 is 15. Again, 1 times 5 is 5. 3 times 3 is 9. All right, so once we get those multiplied out, we simplify whatever can be simplified. So I'm going to simplify those perfect squares first. So here and here at the beginning and the end, we have perfect squares that can be simplified. So the square root of 25 is 5, so that gives me 72 times 5. The 15 cannot be simplified. And then here we have 5 times uh, the square root of 9, and the square root of 9 is 3, so 5 times 3. Alrighty, and then from there, let's multiply this out. Uh, so we have 72 times 5 gives us 360. And then 5 times 3 uh, gives us uh, minus 15 there. And then the last and final step is to combine like terms. So we have 360 minus 15. 360 minus 15 gives us 345. And then these two are like terms because they both have the square root of 15. So we can say 45 uh, minus 8 will give us 37. So plus a positive 37 times the square root of 15. Okay, so if you need to pause it here so you can copy that down, go ahead and pause it. Okay, so let's look at one more problem like that one. Alright, so here we have 7 times the square root of 5 plus 4 times the square root of 2 times 8 times the square root of 2 plus 7 times the square root of 5. So we would need to distribute each one of those terms in the first parentheses to the terms in the second parentheses. So again I will start off distributing the 7 times the square root of 5 times each one of those. 
So I have 7 times the square root of 5 times 8 times the square root of 2. And then positive or plus 7 times the square root of 5 times 7 times the square root of 5. Next, I will come back and distribute the 4 square root of 2 to each one of those in the second parentheses. So 4 times the square root of 2 times 8 times the square root of 2 plus 4 times the square root of 2 times 7 times the square root of 5. Okay, now we want to multiply each one of those groups out. All right, so seven times eight, 56. Five times two underneath the square root, it's 10. Seven times seven is 49. Underneath the square root symbol, five times five is 25. 4 times 8 is 32. Underneath the square root symbol, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 7 is 28. Underneath the square root symbol, 2 times 5 is 10. Okay, so we know that um, the square root of 25 is 5, so 49 times 5 gives us 245. So the square root of 25 is 5. So I multiply 49 times 5, which gives me 245. The square root of 4 is 2, so I multiply 2 times 32, which is 64. And then combine the like terms. So 245 plus 64 will give us 309. So add these two. And then the 56 times the square root of 10 and the 28 times the square root of 10 can be combined since both of those are being multiplied by the square root of 10. So 56 plus 28 is 84. times the square root of 10. And that's it. All righty. I hope you found that to be helpful. Thank you.